Hello, today we're going to talk about how to install your 2022 and newer Autodesk software. So the first thing you will do in order to access your software for download is we'll go to manage.autodesk.com and that will bring you to your home site when you're logged in with your own Autodesk account. I am already currently logged in and what you'll do is you'll come over here to the left side, you'll click all products and services and this will give you the listing of the software that you have access to. So what we're going to install today is we are going to go ahead and install AutoCAD Mechanical because I don't have this one installed yet. So we'll go ahead and click on the heading AutoCAD Mechanical and this will bring me here. This will show me what versions I have so I can install 2020, 2021, 2022, or 2023. So we're going to be talking about 22 and 20, basically 2022 and newer because of the newer install process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to select 23, and I'm going to go ahead and click this button, and I'm going to go ahead and click download. And what that's going to do is it's going to spawn an executable that it's going to tell me it's downloading a file to create the installer. I go ahead and close that, and you'll see it's creating the installer file here. So once this is complete, we'll go ahead and launch it and I'll give you some information on how exactly this works. So now that I've downloaded the file, we'll go ahead and drag this over here. All we simply need to do is double click on the installer. And what it's going to go ahead and do is it's going to fire up and it's gonna let us know that it's preparing right here and what it should start doing is it should start downloading and unpacking the files for us to do the install. We just have to be patient here. This is basically what we are going to be waiting for is for the Autodesk servers to give us the complete download package and then we'll start the install process. Now as you can see here it's currently creating the installer. What this is doing right now is that it's actually un it's downloading the files and putting them in another location so that I can figure out exactly where they're going for. Typically speaking, it's going to create this Autodesk folder here in your Windows Downloads folder. And in that is going to have our AutoCAD mechanical software. So that's what I wanted to show you is that that's where it's unpacking this information to is to your PC, your username, downloads Autodesk. Now, as you can see here, the download is completed. It's finalizing, making sure that all the files are intact. And as soon as this finishes finalizing, creating the installer, it should turn around and immediately launch the installer itself. When it's finally finished, you will be presented with this screen. It says the installer has been created successfully and now I can either go ahead and open in the folder or I can run the installer at this point. I'll go ahead and run the installer. What should happen now is that it should go ahead and validate the files, unpack them, and there should be some information going on in the background while it's looking at this. And then it should turn around and open up my installer just like this. So there's a couple of things with the 22 and the 23 software that I do want to make you aware of is that there's not a lot of options you get while you are installing the software. As a matter of fact, you have very few options as far as choices and things like that, which you had in previous versions. So please be aware of this. So the first thing we come up with is our legal agreement. We go ahead and agree to the terms and we click next. It's going to ask me where we want to install the software to. This is really the only choice you get in most of the software. Um, there may be additional pieces like with map, you get the infrastructure map server information or the infrastructure something. Um, I think Revit, it gives you one or two options perhaps, but for the most part, you get no additional options and you just go ahead and click the install button and it will now start installing your Autodesk software. And you will see this progress through the percentages. And basically at any point now, if there's a problem, you'll see the installer stop. And then the installer will start backing up as it's removing the files. And then it will give you an error code. 
Please make a note of any error codes you get because if you are calling in for support, anything that you get as far as error codes or messages that occur do help us out significantly. And usually you will get to this point where it says you can start running the, I can actually start the program right now if I want. There are some ancillary files or some other things that it is doing in the background while I'm doing this. What I typically do at this point is I wait. I don't go ahead and start the program um, simply because I want to make sure that the program is completely installed with all the ancillary files and anything else that it may need prior to me launching it. This will ensure that I have a successful launch on the first try and this causes fewer problems. So even though it says I can start running the software right now, this is typically where I choose to wait and I wait for this to complete entirely. And you'll see here I'm in Windows 10. It does tell me that the mechanical install was complete. And again, we're going to wait for this finalizing AutoCAD Mechanical 2023 to complete here. Once this installation finalizes, we will have a button. And again, if it does say, please restart your computer before finishing installing, please restart at this time or say not now. Go ahead and close everything you have open and then restart your machine. The reason why is we want to make sure that we have everything in place. So I'm going to click not now and then I'll reboot my machine after we're done. And you'll see here I can either start the program my installation is complete, and what I typically do is just close with the X in the upper right-hand corner. We've got it installed, so now the next step is we're going to go ahead and launch it, and we'll get it licensed. All right, so I've rebooted. Here's my AutoCAD mechanical, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch this. And it's going to ask me to migrate my custom settings. Typically, I don't want to migrate my custom settings at all. If I do, the only thing I don't want to do is migrate the CUI. I want to keep only the CUI that's native to 23 in 23. And I don't want to replace the 23 CUI with the 21. So always make sure you uncheck that if you do. If you don't want to migrate your settings, just go ahead and click the X. And I should get the splash screen. Here's the splash screen, just like this. And basically what it's going to go through here is it's going to prep my system for the first time launch of AutoCAD Mechanical 23, because that's what we just installed. And as we wait for this to come up, there's a couple of things to be aware of. That the first thing that's going to happen is that we'll get through this. It'll apply any updates if any have been installed. Once this comes up, it'll bring up our UI shell, in which case we'll see AutoCAD Mechanical, and then it should prompt us to activate the software. Just like this. Now it's going to ask us to either sign in with our Autodesk ID, enter a serial number, or use a network license. Most of us should at this point be on sign in with your Autodesk ID. This will be your email address and then the password you've created with the Autodesk with Autodesk for your Autodesk software. Serial numbers are for either perpetual licenses only, or if you have a home user license because you're still on network license and you have home user, this would be the only time you would enter a serial number. And if you're still using network license or multi-user licenses, you would go ahead and click this and you would point us back to the server. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Autodesk ID. And it should turn around and bring in our Autodesk sign-in box. At this point, this is where you put in your email address and this is where you put in your password. Now that I've signed in, you'll see sign in complete and my software is now fully activated and I'm ready to now use AutoCAD Mechanical 2023 because it's just been installed on the system. That's it in a nutshell. That's how we install our software for 22 and 23.